when we mix and match, drawing us together. Ba 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 da, drawing us together. Let's go mix and match. Hello, 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 hello. We have an upside down little tea. Uh, are you going to do your drawing upside down today? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to come the right way up. Oh, yes. thanks, little tea. That's great. Right, Bye. so. We're going to be uh, moving on now. It's day 37. Gosh, it Yay. flies on. It's crazy. Let's pick it out. Am I picking it out then if you're staying upside down? No, I'm picking it out. Where is it? Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. What have you got? Ready? Oh, I thought you had one then. Yeah, yeah, nearly there. Got it? Which one are you going to do? That one. Okay. See what it is. What does it say? Draw three friends. Draw three friends. Oh, how funny, because I already drew some friends yesterday. Um, when I was doing, do you remember what we were doing yesterday about our dinners? Dinners. And I did, uh, well, I did five of my friends uh, yesterday. But that's quite nice. I can do some different people today, so that's cool. Right, okay, we'll see you in a little bit. We're going to be drawing three friends. Bye! Bye. Bye. Hey, little T. I noticed oh. you're the right way up. How did I manage that? By persuading me that we'll have onion barges. Onion barges for tea. There we yeah. go. So we asked you to draw three friends. Can you tell me? This is not what I expected at all. I thought you might do Graziella and who else? Sonia. Uh, maybe Mukram. Gosh, so many friends from school. But no, you've done new friends. Friends you've been making during lockdown. And of course, we can't mix with humans. So who are these new friends of yours, little T? Let's start over here. Who's this, darling? This is a, a Canada goose. A Canada goose. And who's this? It is a coot. It is a coot. And who's this? A female mallard. A female mallard. Now we've been going every day for our exercise to Chawton Water Park. Yeah. Because that's nice and near us, luckily. And you've been feeding the geese and the ducks yeah. and the coots. And we've been observing and, and them. And there's babies. And there's babies. Babies what, darling? Baby uh, coots. Baby coots. Uh, Baby swans, their eggs right now. Ah, well, they're eggs, aren't they? Because yeah. their mummy is on the nest. And we're yeah. so lucky that we can get to see her. It's fantastic. So let's and just have are, a look. Uh, yeah, and there's baby uh, grebes as well. Baby grebes. Yes, grebes are lovely. They dive under the water, don't they? Yeah. Do me an impression of them diving. Uh, ready? Yeah. Ready? Show me how they dive. That's it. And then they stay down for ages and ages and ages and ages and ages, fishing, fishing, fishing. And then they pop up suddenly, completely different. Fantastic. Come on over, my darling. This, I think, T, is one of my favourite drawings so far. You really took your time on this. I think you were quite inspired by this one today. I think sometimes when we just draw things out the hat, you're just like, meh, I'll just quickly sketch that. But this... Gorgeous. I especially love the coot's feet. They've got the funniest feet, haven't they? Yeah. Shall we at the end show some pictures of you of your goose uh, or geese and, and friends. other friends, your goose friends? Yes. Tia Tao, the goose girl. Right, I'm going to show you my friends. You might be interested in this. I found the other day some very old photos. Um, and these are just random photos of old friends. So I thought, right, okay. Because I did my close friends... Uh, mm yesterday all going out for me i thought i'd do friends from long ago so this is suz the fuzz jordan and she was my friend we used to go to a little acting club and we used to have a lovely time there and she was fantastic she had red hair now i had a thing for red hair i was always very jealous and wanted red hair and i think that may be why i have my other friend here um smelly well, she used to be called Smelly Waters, but she's now called Smelly Burrows. That's not her real first name. But she was oh, just one of my most beautiful friends. I broke her arm once. 
I was oh. teaching her how to stage fight and how to land safely and I actually broke her arm. So that wasn't very safe, was it? And she forgave me for that. And she's a superstar woman. She has just um, got over cancer. She's done brilliantly. Oh. I've no idea where Suz is anymore, but I am still in touch and good friends with Smelly Waters. She's one of those people who will be friends forever, whatever. Um, and, and we've never lost touch. The other person here is unfortunately someone who has died now. Uh, um, yeah. She died uh, just uh, about uh, two years ago now. Um, Hill Taylor, she was fantastic and she's dressed here as a clown because we used to do um, clowning at parties and things to, to earn some money when I was young. And that was when I was about ooh, 18 years old. And again, Smelly was around. Well, we were friends from 16 and to 18 at college and then carried on being friends. And Suz the Fuzz, I was about 14. Suz would have been about 14 here. So here are my drawings of my old three friends. And it'd be so interesting to find more old photographs and think about other past friends and things. But I'm gonna give my friend Smelly a call. Oh, that's the doorbell. I wonder if we've got a nice package. Okay, so that's a da 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 da. So, my darling, what we got to do now? Roll them up, and then we are done. Do yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so it's the end of day 37. 37. Lovely. Bye. I better go and make lots of onion barges now, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Smelly Burrows. Bye, Hill. Bye, Sus the Fuzz. And we'll see the geese later. Bye. It's the mallard, isn't it? Do you think I'm going to hold a long one out for them? <laughs> wow. Can I hold a long one out for this one? This one's going to take it from your hand, isn't it? Hello, cheeky goose. I haven't got any. <laughs> you got your finger that time. Yes, please, I want it. <laughs> So we've got our little mallard again. Well done. Can't see any keep. I didn't see a keep before. Yeah. <laughs> There's one behind you that wants to take something in your hand then I think. Just takes it nicely from your fingers. Let's you have a stroke, did not she? Hello. Hello. And you was trying to explore. Hello. Oh, the coot's here. That's the coot. That's the little coot. So we've seen the coot and your little female mallard friend, and lots of the uh, other like kind of this one. This is nice. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's one coming. Where? There, next in front of you, that one. got you. So this is a very beautiful female mute swan and we watched her and her male partner make the nest and uh, she's got four eggs underneath her which would be rather beautiful when they all hatch. Oh, here comes the 
guess it's a little cute over there, isn't there? Might send it away. Are the sounds of the splits any harder to find? No. Does she hear them nearly all the time? Well, she would hear them, yes. Cute's getting pretty near. Yeah. Cute's getting right up onto the nest. Cheeky cute. <laughs> mm, yes. Can we see his funny feet? I don't think it's going to get near enough. Yeah, it's getting right up onto the nest. Cheeky cute. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, well, we can see its feet just about. Strange as it feet. Yeah. And dead cheeky. Nicky one of her <laughs> leaves. Building his own nest. <laughs> Say night night now. Night night. Say night night swan. Night night swan. <laughs>